Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm Audrey and Kate's mom and today I wanted to share with you guys a little sort of photo album, if you will, of different um, Halloweens over the years. And we'll start off here with Audrey's first Halloween. Uh, she's dressed as a pumpkin and she looks so adorable and a little dorky with that face. Uh, I got that costume probably at some place like Target or something when we were in the States. Um, and I always thought she looked super adorable in it. Then the next year, Audrey was a butterfly, and this costume is my first homemade costume that I made for her. Then for a couple years, we actually moved back to the States and lived around the Washington, D.C. area. And during that time, uh, we had a chance to celebrate two Halloweens when we were there. So the first, she was this cute little witch. And actually, this is the time that she fell down and scraped up her knee. You can kind of see the inner tights there in that one photo. And then the next year, she uh, we got a different variation of a little witch costume. This one was so cute with a little cat motif on the front. And she's there posing with our friend's cat, Belle. We celebrated the next uh, Halloween in Japan again. And this time I bought a costume here in Japan that was for her to be dressed up as a witch again. A uh, pretty common thing, I guess, for sure. Uh, but we had a lot of fun having her get dressed and doing some trick-or-treating at home. The following year, I used the same costume, but this time added some different accents to it to make it a little different and unique. I kind of made uh, little additions to the witch hat there, and she looked really adorable with all of those different accents. And she got to celebrate her first Halloween with her little sister. And we had Kate wear the same costume that Audrey had worn when Audrey was celebrating her first Halloween. So you get to see Kate as a cute little pumpkin as well. So uh, the both of them had a really great time celebrating together. The following year, I made a costume for the girls. I decided I wanted to have them dress up as little white cats. And I made the headbands and the little hand paw things and the dress and the two of them looked so adorable posing together and Kate was trying so hard to kind of mimic and copy her sister's moves and I really think of all of the costumes that we've enjoyed over the years these this one was really the best because they were just so cute together um, and I love the way they look at each other there <laughs> So then uh, the next year we um, faced a whole different kind of feeling where the both of them kind of wanted to dress up like witches again, but Kate really didn't want to wear the uh, costume at all. We got her at least to carry the hat with her, but she didn't want to wear the cape at all. She was very against it. So, um, but that year was a little light. I don't know why for ex re any reason, but but the following year, I got a chance then to make a costume again. Uh, after the girls saw the movie Wolf Children, um, they really wanted to uh, dress up like Ame and Yuki. So we, I made little headbands for them and little skirts with tails so that they could run around and pretend to be the wolves. <laughs> Yuki, Nini! <laughs> He's so cute. Kate, smile! Scratch for me. <laughs> so cute. So you guys got to see that little video clip of them playing around pretending to be the wolves from that movie. It was a lot of fun. Uh, so the next costume that we did the following year was Audrey wanted to be a witch again, but we made sure to make some fun accents to the things that we had for the hat. And I made the shirt and the skirt for her and put little bells on it and stuff. So that was a lot of fun. And then Kate wanted to be a uh, Perry the Platypus because she loved Phineas and Ferb. And so I got that costume made for her as well. So the following year, of course, the thing that was popular was Frozen. So Audrey wanted to be a ice princess. And so I made a costume for her for that. 
And Kate's favorite thing was Paw Patrol. And she wanted to be Zuma, so I made the costume for her for this with this great little um, air pack on the back. That was fun to make. I liked that a lot. So we had a, a fun year that year for sure. Um, the next year, Audrey wanted to be uh, sort of like this angel character from uh, Aikatsu anime. And so I made the costume for her and we got to put some fun decorations on her face. That was really fun. She looked really pretty. And Kate wanted to be Kuromi, who is a character from Sanrio's My Melody series. Um, we made that funny little hat for her. She kind of looks more like a little devil kid than anything here. Uh, to be honest, the hat kind of was a little small, but it still looked really cute on her when she put it on. Um, and then the year after this, Audrey was really liking the game Persona and wanted to be the Joker, but we couldn't really um, get around to making the entire thing. We were pretty busy that year. So um, we found this costume and I kind of edited it a little for her. And then Kate was Morgana, the uh, cat from that, from that game as well. So we got her that little hat and made part of her costume for that. So then the next year is the first year when I put a little bit more effort into trying to make the costumes for the girls. And um, I knew that Audrey really wanted to be these characters from a game called uh, Shiroto Kuro no Arisu. So we went ahead and had Audrey be Cannon, the Mad Hatter, and then Kate was the Black Rabbit named Rain. And so I took stuff that I had lying around and tried my best to make stuff and I think it turned out pretty good. And there's even the dog wearing some cute little um, bat wings. That was the only time we could ever get him to agree to wear anything for two seconds. <laughs> so that's the only time you'll see Hunter wearing a costume. <laughs> he looks so funny there in his stupid little dorky pose. The year after that, Audrey really wanted to be Cardia from Code Realize. And so um, using what I had around me, I tried my best to kind of recreate sort of an image of what her dress was like. And uh, Audrey helped and made the headband for her as well. And um, it turned out really pretty, I think, in the end. And Kate wanted to be this um, character that's kind of like from Minecraft where she sort of looks like a skeleton girl. And it's actually from um, a YouTube channel called Ryotaro Tube, And he created this character of Skella, and that's who she was that year. Uh, and then the next year, Kate still wanted to follow that Ryotaro Tube's characters. And this year she wanted to be Reap, who is sort of a creeper girl character. So I had a lot of fun making that costume for her and making the felt design patterns for the back of that shirt and stuff. It was a lot of fun. And she looked really cute, I thought. And then Audrey wanted to be the Okami from Taiso Kakeru Aris uh, game that she plays. And so I made the costume for her and we used some old shirt that I had lying around for her to use and altered some shorts of her dad's and put some suspenders with them to make the costume in the end for that year. And I'm currently making the costumes for this year and I'll have them ready to share with you guys soon. So thanks you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.